Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It's April 16th. Uh, a big turnaround today for the grains, a turnaround Tuesday type mentality, but corn up about 16 and a half, beans up 16 and a half, with wheat up at nine and three quarters. As far as corn, we had a big outside day up on the charts. Uh, that's following an outside day down that we had yesterday. So coming into today, the charts were negative, and boy, we were able to turn them around to make us look a little positive. So a stronger close again tomorrow may uh, try to go up and fill the gap that we've left uh, after that quarterly stock report. Uh, but kind of uh, keep that in mind here. We've got to see another stronger close. So we did have these outside markets recover. Um, gold and silver, as we mentioned yesterday, certainly taking a dive uh, and kind of spurring this, this commodity-wide selling. Well, today, almost the exact opposite, commodity-wide buying. Everything seemed to be higher today. But as far as the grains, another thing that, that kept corn and uh, supported the wheat today, uh, the weather. 6 to 10 day and also the 11 to 15 day forecasts are wet yet. Uh, we've got some significant rain moving through the corn belt. The guys are expecting to see some kind of delays yet. Uh, we had uh, planning progress come out yesterday at 2%. Uh, lower than where we where we are as far as a five-year average, but we'll see. That doesn't have to mean anything. But there is a lot of rain still uh, on its way. At least that's what uh, a lot of these forecasts are continuing to bring. The funds today bought about 14,000 contracts of corn. They bought 4,000 wheat and bought about 6,000 beans. So they did come in. Uh, we did see the funds buying today and supporting the market at these levels, so we may see that continue. But the dollar today dropping back 65 cents. Okay, that's still a very key component here. If the dollar is going to break, commodities find some support. We did see that. Uh, crude oil, though, right about unchanged at 88.70. We've got some resistance now up at $90. Um, but uh, today, very quiet markets as far as the energies. Gold and silver, very weak last few days. Gold right now, though, we did see a, a stronger move earlier. Uh, it's only up four bucks right now. That's forty dollars off the highs today. That's starting to weaken up a little bit. Uh, silver actually turned lower, down about nine. So twenty-three twenty-eight for silver. Uh, we did have a rally up near twenty-four cents uh, earlier this morning, uh, and we've gave back all of that here and then a little bit more. So watch these markets. Are this going to pull everything negative tomorrow? We'll have to see, but. They are slipping back a little at this time. The stock market and the S&P are staying strong. Stock market up 156 points right now, S&P up 23. So those look a little more firm right now as well. We did see a recovery, a little rebound uh, in the livestock. Cattle up 70 cents, 120.52. Uh, we've got box beef mixed today. Choice up 37 with select down 23. Uh, but we are looking at these April futures. We're pricing in about a $2 drop in the cash. So we're still looking for confirmation of that. But what that will do is confirm that we do have a top in the cash market uh, for the year if we end up seeing something like that. So the cash, the cash market this week is going to be very uh, followed very closely. Continue watching that and see how that trades throughout the week. As far as the hogs, still have a swine flu issue. We still have the, our bird flu issue in China, uh, which is, uh, is, is a, a bigger, uh, bigger picture problem. We did jump about 40 cents today. That's just giving back some of the losses that we'd seen. Right now, the market attitude for hogs uh, is still negative. And uh, we got these Junes right now still hovering around 89. But we've got to see some more positive news in these hogs to really get them going. Right now, there's really not. Still, uh, maybe just a little bit of a bounce here today, mostly due to the, uh, the turnaround in most of the markets. So watch for that here this week. We'll see how that, uh, how that takes us and, and where we go from here. But if you have questions, give us a call. Um, these markets are moving around pretty quickly. Pretty solid close today for grains. And we'll see if that can follow through here tomorrow as well. But you can give us a call at 800-262-7538 or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you had a great day today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.